Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Let's Play the Wonderful 101. I went back through Operation 1A so I could afford two things at the Wonder Mart. The first being Unite Tombstone for 300,000 parts, which is kind of going to function like a ground pound. And I also got 30 of all the space vegetables so we can go into the Wonder Mixer menu and we can combine uh, all 90 of those, the 30 peppers, 30 carrots, and 30 eggplants to make a credit card. So let me switch screens. And we tap X a couple of times to shake all the ingredients up. That's really all there is to it. It's nothing complicated. It's pretty simple. They give you all the recipes over there on the right side of the screen and tell you how much of each type of vegetable you need. Uh, and we have our credit card. We have our credit card now. What the credit card does is it lets us come into the wonderful Mart and purchase any single item from the store, no matter how expensive it is. So I'm going to use that to purchase a uh, formation charge, which is a new way to power up our team attacks. And once we get started on Operation 1B and we go into our little loading training menu, I'll show off some of the new stuff that we picked up, including the two things that we just got from the store. Uh, so first, we have our Formation Charge, which powers up up to three levels, and it makes our team attacks a lot more potent, and it makes them extend further. And uh, while I was doing, while I was replaying 1A, I also leveled up uh, Wonder Blue a little bit. So we got his Wonder Rising, and we got our Tombstone, which you do by uh, hitting both triggers in midair. And it brings you right back to the ground. So now we can start to do some fun little juggle combos on stunned enemies. So we have the Formation Charge, which can, which can help us stun enemies faster now. We have the Wonder Rising, which can help us pop up enemies into the air for some mid-air combos. And uh, we got the Tombstone now to bring him back down. Uh, let's see. If we send a bunch of our people into uh, the, the window in that building... Tracing the line of batteries, we get a wonderful figurine, much like we did at the start of 1A. And right off the bat, we have our first mission, our first uh, operation of 1B, which is just a couple of dogu for now. The second wave, I think, has a die dogu in it. And I'm going to try not to maul that one so hard this time. But I think just this first wave should give me the, the, uh, the combo score I need so I can kind of just go for it with him. Uh, you also get bonus points for doing things like dodging with Unite Spring at the last second and uh, blocking with Unite Guts. So that'll help too. You might get under him. Oh, I can't get around to uh, the, the weak point button on his back so well right now. And he's shedding his armor. So I want to get away for a sec. Because he'll start blocking and he'll start doing armored moves now. When he's in Lego form. Yeah, there we go. Start off with a nice, strong pure plat. Good stuff. The first Daidugu we came across, I kind of mauled a little bit too hard. Uh, I think there's some batteries up on the side of the building that will go along with the Wonderliner. And this is a new version of the Hoedown. This one is called a Raydown. For a reason that will be really obvious in just a second. Instead of firing a big projectile at you, it fires a laser. Which the sword can redirect. Weapons have a lot of different properties in this game. Like last time we established that Unite Guts can, uh, it can't stop slashing and piercing attacks and spiky stuff. Lasers are another no-go for Unite Guts. Oh shit, I'm going the wrong way. I have to trigger the event first. Uh, hopefully that doesn't waste too much time. The sword, on the other hand, one of its special properties is that it can redirect laser beams. And just a reminder, we are less than halfway through the first operation of nine in the game. And it hasn't even begun to escalate. So, we use the Unite Sword to pole vault 
over the billboard. Oh yeah. This is a fun ass mission. Like Wonderful 101 is all about escalating. Recruit our first Wonderful One of the mission. Come on, get in that toilet. What we got? Oh, we got a bunch of eggplants. Come on, don't go over the cliff. Thank you. And a couple more people here. I think we're about to uh, recruit, recruit some unique wonderful ones all in quick succession here. Like up here, I think there's one. You can see a bunch of these cool little billboards here. Fruity cutie. I think there's one in the stadium that we're heading towards. That's really good. There's, I think a cataclysmart. Wonder Matador. Benevolent bovine lover. <laughs> uh, so we take the elevator up, even though kinda didn't need it. But some incoming rockets destroy the elevator. So we can use Unite Build to have our wonderful ones construct a new elevator for us to use. Uh, and up here, yeah, here he is. This is one of my favorite wonderful ones. <laughs> Rather, he uses my favorite weapon. This is Wonder Magician. He uses the Fantastic. <laughs> I love the punniness. Uh, so to cross the gap here, we can draw a triangular glyph and create a Unite Hang Glider. Oh, God. So much going on in this game. Gagujin. This is just a sick-ass normal fight. Initiating attack. Initiating attack. Commence Earthling Annihilation. So I'm going to get uh, Team Unite Morph going over there. The sword covers a lot of uh, distance. It has a really wide attack arc, so it can attack a couple of these uh, a couple of these nodes at once. And then we'll pound away at one, focus it down with a fist. This attack right here, he says slam his fist down. You need a 50-person Unite Morph in order to block that. Uh, Unite Guts. Which is why they give you all of the citizens to recruit up to this point. Only the third mission in the <laughs> second sub-operation of Operation 1. <laughs> oh, it's fucking nuts. This is such a spectacular set piece, too. Alright, so now we get the chance to uh, build a Unite Bridge, which I have to be careful of because it's waving and bouncing all over the place, and it can bounce you off and cause some stupid damage. Yeah, we cross from one fist to the next, and we do the same thing, take out all three nodes on its fist. Let's see, is this the one where he, No, it's... Uh, this is just a single hit. He has another one where he kind of sweeps the ground on one side, or sweeps his arm on one side, and drags it across. So you have to uh, unite spring over it. But he's being pretty kind to me with these attacks. Uh, also, you notice that you get a bunch of your Unite Gauge back whenever you block or dodge an attack. Uh, you also gain a lot of it back whenever your teammates are attacking. So, uh, Team Unite Morphs, really good for just keeping the battery even. Just breaking even. You always want to retain one battery in case you have to dodge something or Unite Guts through one of his uh, fist attacks. And since the game has been teaching us what these are throughout the last operation, we know to use uh, Unite 
fist to grab this and kind of turn it around. Uh, there's a Daidogu who pops out of his mouth and tries to fire a projectile at you. If you're quick enough, you can twist that part of his arm off before it fires its shot. And one more. Oh, shit. I have to be really fast. Because I, uh... I didn't notice that it gave me control back quickly enough. Oh, still got it. Still got it. And you get a small bonus, uh, depending on how big you draw the glyph for those QTEs. The weapon has retreated from your location. What rock was that thing hiding under? The street. Where that came from. Team, let's move. Roger. The whole street was the rock it was hiding under. All of the street. Uh, so here's something that I forgot about in the last operation that we did. If you trace uh, certain numbers and certain street signs, if I can do this right, I suck at this. Uh, sometimes you'll you'll get something really minor, some kind of hidden thing. Like there were a couple of platinum coins hidden like that in the last mission. There was a hidden file there. It's usually nothing terribly important. <laughs> a taiku. Surprisingly, it has some wisdom, which I think is a fucking hilarious stat to display. Oh, I thought I missed something. A couple more of you guys. I think I might have missed a few. I feel like I should have been at a hundred by now. Maybe not. Oop. One of the sword. These things are adorable. The Yuhos. Yuhos. Oh, uh, they're just Dogus flying around in uh, tiny little flying saucers. <laughs> uh, and what's fun is if you destroy them, you can actually take their flying saucer and ride it around a bit. So this is a 50 person Unite Sword. Leaves me with 44 people left over. Uh, the denominations are 10, 20, 50, and 100. Easy for you to say, Flying Toaster. We can't even reach the darn thing. Whoops. Did you get lost jumping the pond? Oh, Blue. I see your continued failure with the ladies has done nothing to remedy your brusque mannerisms. A man's man by default. You're yanking my chain, Captain Croissant. Thank you. Your help was invaluable. Jean Sebastian Renault. I mean, Wonder Green, isn't it? Hey, pardon. You are the leader of this operation? You seem. Uh... Unfamiliar. Have we met before? T in Versailles, perhaps? Dude's only been on the team for a month. Sacre vert! A novice? You me 
may address me as Monsieur Wonder Queen. Have you no respect for etiquette? La Kirashi? I... I I'm sorry. I will have you know I am no simple child. Tell me now, what scores did you receive on your tactical examinations? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was 100 on the written, 98 on the field. But exams are exams. Real world experience. Skills honed in battle. These are what count, my dear. Wonder Rouge. Roger. Good to have you on the team, Monsieur Wondergreen. <laughs> uh, I think that, that cutscene really kills the pacing of this fight, but it's still really funny. So now we're introduced to our uh, newest wonderful one, Wonder Green. Who's uh, one of our new main characters? Also gives us the new gun, Unite More, which is good because it uh, it really increases your combo multiplier. One of its many properties is that it increases your multiplier very quickly. Oh. Oh, I can't find any other saucers. They must have all exploded. I wanted to ride one around. They're so cute. Uh, so before I proceed onwards, if we double back down here... There is another, uh, Alfheim. What are they? Kakurigas. I'll never remember that name. Let me call them secret missions or Alfheims forever. This one is one I hate. Because you can see we only have five Unite Morphs. Or re we only have five... Uh, uh, allies, so we can't form Unite Morphs. Uh, this is like those Alphimes in Bayonetta where you had to use the Angel Arms to attack. Uh, but because we can't use Unite Morphs, we don't have access to things like Guts or Unite Spring, even. And the aiming here is a bit finicky. It doesn't quite lock on. Uh, there's one more problem with this mission, which is that right now, at this point in the game, we cannot cure Plat this secret mission uh, because we have no way of increasing the combo multiplier which means we won't have the combo score by the end of this mission to get the pure plat we have to come back here later to do that but that's fine like it's not that hard it is Pretty easy to take damage in the very beginning, especially if one of the hoedowns gets off screen. Then you really just have to listen out for the sound of uh, its projectile. So, Wonder Green, Jean Sebastian Renault. Whenever Green talks, he has food in his hand. It's different in every operation. In Operation 1, it's Platinum Cinema's popcorn. Uh, and his gun, Christine Dae, is named after the character, the uh, main character from Phantom of the Opera. And this, the his giant Unite Morph gun, is an homage to the Nintendo Super Scope. <laughs> Another property of the Unite gun is that it uses your teammates as ammunition. Uh, the smaller version of the gun fires one at a time, I think. The Super Scope version fires three, and if they collide with a hard surface, they get knocked out for a bit. And here's one more property of Unite Gun. Any kind of uh, falling projectile like this, you can load it into the gun and fire it at things. Which I believe we have to hit this four or five times. Yeah, it looks like it was five. So if you have a weapon from later in the game, you can use it as an umbrella and just skip doing that whole section, which saves you a bunch of time and makes this really easy to pure plat. Let's see, we have two... These are hoedowns, not raydowns, right? Yeah. Oh, shit! That's a pain in the ass. Let's see. Oh, no. If you have a big enough uh, Unite Morph, I believe you can still break armor. 
I'm not sure if that applies to every Unite Morph, though. I am gonna be crazy here and retry this mission. Because <laughs> I'm so disappointed with that hit. <laughs> uh, I can't be this crazy all the time, but... I'm not even sure if I can pure plat this doing uh, the rooftop section reflecting the bullets the long way. I'm not even sure if that's possible. Guess we'll find out. If I fail this for time, then I at least know why. Oh, that's not the direction I wanted to throw it. I have a hard time controlling the direction I throw things. Yeah. Yeah. This is ugly. Oh! I just heard that from off screen. I'm not sure if this is the most time efficient way to be doing this. I might have wasted that retry. Oh well, if I did, I did. <laughs> if it dies, it dies. Oh, you bastard. You have so little health left. Just die. Just go. Get out of here. So have you guys just... straggling. I'm not hitting the retry again. I can't fall into that habit. I can't. I will be recording this for fucking hours if I retry every mission for pure flats. Uh, and here's one of those situations where a formation charge really comes in handy. Because you can get so many of your dudes climbing on uh, enemies really, really quickly and stun them that much faster. Which lets you really start juggling them. So let's get you up in the air. Do a little bit of juggling. Yeah, another one to rising. Oh no, we fell out of it. Shit. Not quite how I envisioned that going. I have no battery. Let's pick this up. Uh, you also get bonus points, as you see, for using the uh, angel arms. Yeah, time is what fucked me. Not surprised. That's still not too bad. Oh, we'll get those batteries before we move on. This next operation is really, really easy. Because you can uh, encircle this with your Wonderliner. And you can get your dudes to pick up this giant version of uh, the Angel Arm Cannon. And they'll carry it around and they'll fire it on their own. And this thing does a shit ton of damage. And I'm not sure if it actually has an ammo limitation when your allies are firing it. Uh, but we can just drag it down the street and it will do all of the work for us. And it will do enough in terms of a, a combo score just from damage alone that we can pure flat this no problem. I have to pick it back up though. Uh, it's also way faster to do it this way, and it's very safe to do it this way. Because the only person on your team who gets harmed is your current leader. And you can keep the leader out of harm's way this way. Any other wonderful ones, or any of your recruits who get hit, they just kind of fly away and get knocked out until you run over them, or until like four or five seconds pass. So we'll just get some team attacks on them to make sure that my people are aiming the cannon correctly. Uh, that's something else that the, the team attacks are good for. Is if you're doing a lot of, like, Team Unite morphs, you can use it to help, uh, your, your, the AI target things more effectively. It's kind of like a, um... It's kind of like a lock-on. It's not as good as a dedicated lock-on. Wow, he is really after me. It's not as good as a dedicated lock-on, but it's... Uh, the closest substitute you get in Wonderful 101. Now we have green crates that only the Unite Gun can open up. We get a Platinum Coin out of that. Three out of five. I know where one more coin is. I don't know where the last one is. I don't care. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't pop it. Uh, need more in the toilet. <laughs> and anything good? Ah, victory torpedo. I'll have to show that off eventually. Oh, there's the Cataclysm art and some other cool billboards. <laughs> I think there's a rock hard sports one again around here somewhere. I don't think there's any unique wonderful ones up here. And there's the platinum coin on the side of the building. And some more platinum references around here. Uh, there is a unique wonderful 100 right here. 100. Uh, Wonder Kabuki. This is straight G Gundam right now. Uh, so, we're going inside for another gamepad section. So, this one we actually don't need to see outside yet, so we can just go straight to the gamepad screen. Uh, so we want Wonder Gun, so Wonder Gun can pick up this battery over here, and then we'll walk it upstairs. I wish the music still played. Uh, is it just because I don't have the gamepad volume up? No, it isn't. Also, I should turn that down so it doesn't bleed into the mic. Yeah, you don't get music while you're inside. Uh, and we fire that to power this up. I'm fucking terrible at these. Uh, it starts off slow, but it gets faster every time you light one up. So every time it passes over one of the circles, you want to shoot. And now... Oh, I can't believe I got that on the first shot. If you miss, uh, you take damage. And it's stupid. I don't know how... I don't know how I didn't get a pure platinum on that. Whatever. Uh, so there's a couple things still left to do in here. If I can get the camera turned, draw a Wonderliner. There is a wonderful one in here. I think that's Wonder Science. Yeah, that's Wonder Science, and he uses the Strange Love Blaster. So we're now also recruiting wonderful ones who use the gun as their weapon. And, uh, it was sorry to see there, but there was a hero heart fragment, so we are now two out of four for our first full heart upgrade. And now we can head out to, uh, the baseball field. And I went the wrong damn direction. Go me. Tachyon radar. Massive flying object incoming. <laughs> we are not blind. So, the sniveling worms dare to defy the guild of evil aliens terrorizing humans with gigawatt bombs, energy beams, ray guns, and killer lasers? This time, the mighty Lambo will wipe their simpering smiles from the face of the planet! How about you come down here and I toss you in a cage where you belong, banana breath? And you are? They call me Wonder Blue. Soon you'll feel the sting of my Valiantium Blade. <laughs> of course, you won't feel it for long. You'll I have no time to waste on pathetic underlings. You will produce your leader. Who are you calling an underling? Ah, there is the blue eye of mist. Every insult an opportunity to further taunt your opponent. Stick a tube in it, Foy Craw. I'm the one you're looking for. I'm the leader. You? You? That's right, me. I'm Wonder Red. And you've got only one choice, Invader. Lay down your arms, or lay down your life to the wonderful one double up. Ha ha ha! That's rich. You're Wonder Red? Ha ha ha! There must be some mistake. I came looking for combatants, not color coordinated cosplayers. In the interest of time, I hope you don't mind being vaporized 
by my molecular disintegration cannons! Mission target, anti-air cannon at 12 o'clock. Team, unite up! Roger! If you notice the cut there, this time I didn't restart because I'm crazy and obsessive and neurotic. Uh, this time I restarted because I actually found a way to break the game towards the end of the mission. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, wow, I cleared everything pretty fast that time. So we're gonna go around picking all these spikes up before they can activate and come at me. Let one of them do that. But for the most part, it's fine. So we just have to destroy every one of the uh, cannons. And then Lambo will come down and fight us one on 100. Oh, also if you get too close to it, it starts producing an electrical field around it that will do a lot of damage to you. There we go. Uh, Lambo's a chump. Lambo is a super big chump. Only problem is, most of his attacks are sword-based, and you cannot block those, so you have to be really careful about that. Also, Lambo likes to block you a lot. But his sword can eventually break, which leaves him super open for combos. Uh, also, if you can lock him down with Team Unite Morphs, you can go around behind him and attack his flaming tail, which takes, I think, uh, one and a half times normal damage. It's a weak point on him. Uh, you can also just play this out pretty normally. Once his sword breaks, it'll eventually regenerate, but I think from here on out until he regenerates the sword, you can uh, block all of his attacks. I don't think he'll get a chance to do that, though. Also, you can see the Dogu in the stand spelling out Gef Jerk. Uh, a call from the mothership? Just when things were getting good. What is it? Little busy here. What? We found it! Understood! On my way! Unfortunately, my costume comrades, our play date is at an end! But don't worry, you can still play with my toys! So for a minute, we're going to have to just avoid this shit falling down from the sky. This is a unique Dogu. Rather, he has a unique weapon. He is a baseball bat. So we have to avoid all the stuff raining down from the sky, and we have to take all these guys out so we can pick up his baseball bat. Oh. Just stay mobile. And try not to get too close to the anti-air cannon because of the electricity field. Just clear the rest of you out. And... Play it safe. So. So. No! No! It travels a lot slower than I thought. Oh no, I'm choking. I'm choking so bad. Now. Fuck, man. <laughs> oh, this is fun. And that's Operation 1B. Of course. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. 
missed two swings. Ruined my pure plat for that mission. What exactly did you do? Whoa, what was that? The angry alien did fly off in that direction, did he not? Not the goddess. This is bad. Wonderful 100. All aboard on the double. We're headed for the Goddess of Blossoms. Initiating laser teleportation. Roger. Team! Back to the ship! Roger! And that's gonna do it for Mission 001B, another Platinum. Anyway, that's gonna do it for now. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy, have a good one. Next time we will end Operation 1, finishing it off with Operation 1C.